been two months since I've mowed these lawns because I've got Edward, the works landroid, robot lawnmower, who's doing it all for me. So let me tell you about my experience for the last two months with our little man, Edward. Like, subscribe so you can see all the videos we make about robot vacuums, robot lawnmowers, smartphones, and cars. G'day, Edward. How you doing, buddy? You good? Just do that bit over there, mate. You missed a spot. As you saw in my setup video, which I'll link below, <clears throat> setup was better than easier than I thought, to be honest. Um, I thought this was gonna be quite an arduous process, but it turned out pretty good. And on a 35, nearly 40 degree day today, I wouldn't wanna be mowing the lawns. So Edward's been doing it pretty much every day since then. Now, I wanna start with the little things I've noticed. And it took, it was frustrating for the first couple of weeks because he'd cut the wire, he'd go out of bounds. There was a bunch of things that would happen. I learned quickly that I needed more pegs, I needed to use more pegs more often along the line so that it wasn't at all raised up, no chance of him slipping into it or under it. And critically, those big back traction wheels, when they turn and they turn on the wire, they can kind of lift it a bit. So you've got to, got to be aware of that. And I basically walk the boundary every day for the first two weeks just to check for the wire. But you get a notification on the phone when he cuts the wire, you get a notification that he's been lifted or hit something and that makes it very, very easy. Essentially, the programming of the, of the, of the device was super easy because I simply use the app to pace out the size of the, the, the lawn. I reckon it's about 120 square meters. And from that point, it determined how much he would mow and how regularly. He'd be going out for about an hour, an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half every day at around lunchtime. And he's been doing a great job. The grass looks amazing. And in fact, areas where I would normally get a serious amount of weeds, Nothing to be seen because he's trimming them as they come up, not giving them a chance of life. And the grass is able to grow over them. So it's this constant trimming. It's not a hard cut lawn. I cut my front lawn on the weekend with the mower and you know, it's this hard, very clearly just cut look. Whereas here, it kind of looks like I cut it a week ago, but it was two and a half months ago nearly. But of course you can see in the background, the edges. I've let them grow. I haven't touched them for two months because I wanted to really show the stark difference in what this place would look like if I hadn't have had Edward. So these edges, they need doing. Um, and you can really see how, how deep and fluffy the lawn would have been if I hadn't have had Edward out there doing it. I don't know if you can see it that well, but this is the area that Edward doesn't do. And there's the cut line that Edward does do. So this is how long that lawn would be. So this is probably the best example of the edge. All of this area cut by Edward. This is what the lawn would look like if Edward hadn't been done doing his job over the last couple of months. Really long. That's now my job with the edger. There's a certain amount of tidiness you need on your lawn as well. The kids have had to keep a very clear eye on what they leave out there. Uh, we have had some tennis balls chewed. Um, Edward stopped today because there was a peg on the ground. We've got those big pegs and he just got, got stuck in the blade. And I've also changed the blades already once in two and a half months. So I do think that's probably a, a maintenance thing. You're gonna to need to keep your eye on those blades and keep buying new ones. They're cheap, so that's not a real big issue. But it's that feeling that you just keep coming home to a beautiful cut lawn. It's, it's fantastic. And of all the little issues I had in the first, say, three weeks, uh, cutting the wire, going out of bounds, uh, getting stuck. So I noticed on, I've got a, a little bit of a hill in the back, not hills, but it's a slope. And also this buffalo here is quite thickly kind of grown over the dirt. And so it's quite loose. And Edward will actually kind of churn it up. And if there's not a secure amount and, and, and a very firm lawn, you kind of get a bit of wheel spin on there and he's dug up areas. So little things I've learned along the way around moving the boundary and, and extending that, that edge for me to work on all fine because I haven't had to be out here for two hours mowing the lawns. But to be honest, I can't wait to get out and just edge it now so I can see what my lawns look like now that we've got Edward, the robot lawnmower looking after things. It's a works Landroid. Um, you'll find them for around 12, 1300 up to about $1,500. That's for the 500 square meter one. There's two others above that. The bigger it is, um, the more wire you get, the more powerful it is, the bigger battery and all those different things so that it can do the whole things. But 1500 meters it can do. And again, the number one thing as I pointed out in my unboxing, can't do the front yard. Unless you've got a contiguous lawn, so front and back are connected as lawn, it's almost impossible to set up for him to go around the front and the back. So I'm still doing the front 
but I'm cool with that because it's the back that always kind of frustrated me that it was getting too long or you know the kids were playing in in, in a lawn that needed to be mowed and if you have people around it doesn't look good I, I think it's a fantastic thing someone said to me when I first uh, pulled it out oh I could pay someone to do my lawns for that you know what you couldn't I don't know the last time you got a quote for your lawns to be done but you're gonna pay 100 150 bucks for your lawns to be done even if I just got the back done here it's definitely a hundred bucks that's what 12 13 weeks that's one summer of mowing so as long as Edward's got a two to three to four year life and I've got no doubt he does because they make solid products works yeah they're affordable but they're solid um, and by the way also rain sensor so we had a solid week and a half of rain where Edward just goes yeah no nah, not going to go out and that was my decision not to send him out during rains because you don't want that wet mulchy kind of approach so after several days of consistent rain I ended up waiting for a, a kind of a reasonably dry moment and send him out because I didn't want it to grow too much in those uh, couple of days of conti continuous rain so amazing that it can detect rain it knows the boundary um, it knows the the amount it needs to cut and I haven't found any patches of uh, extra growth line around that you know because it's very randomized pattern but it works it works get it plan words fantastic product I really love it if it's right for you in terms of the style and the size of lawn you've got absolutely highly recommended the works Landroid uh, more pictures my full review at EFTM.com most importantly now instead of mowing the lawns I can just have a drink enjoy and maybe fire the barbie up while Edward does all the hard work <laughs>